Hello, welcome to Spreadsheets for Accounting, AAT Level 3, the tutorial book. Uh, we're in Chapter 3, Advanced Formatting, we're going to do the activities at the back. So, Stage 1, open a new workbook. Got the new workbook open here. Um, stay, move to Sheet 1, Sheet 1 here. Um, now what I've done is I've had to set the data validations up uh, for this question in advance already because otherwise when I, if I did in the uh, the um, uh, the video will switch on uh, switch off sorry so I, that's the only reason why you've got some I've got some extra bits in over here which you're going to put in later on right um, let's just change this then to time record so double click into there and then time record there okay move to a1 here right client work log okay uh, move to a3 put in the name and then it says b3 format this uh, so that it's got a border around it so borders are here in the home tab borders there uh, click on that arrow there a menu comes down here which you can't see but when you click on it your menu will come up and that will be outside borders not thick outside borders but just outside borders which is a thin one there Again, click, uh, for, to, to get the grey in there, click on this bit here, which is the fills. Click on the arrow there. The menu comes up, which you won't be able to see either, but you'll see it when you click on there. Um, and click a grey in there. Oh, sorry. There's the fill. Sorry, I just went and clicked and changed the font. Uh, let's just change the font back to black. Sorry. This is the fill one here, the little paint pot. Um, click on the arrow down there. Up comes the little greys. Um, there we are. Right. Uh, cell A4, department, okay, the same um, font, so I'm just going to drag that down, A5, enter the month, right, okay, it then says create uh, a data validation into this cell here, and I've already created this in advance, you can see this This is how the data validation looks when I press this arrow down, well actually I'm hoping that when I press it that you'll be able to see the menu, it might not uh, come up, but basically this once you go into this cell here, um, if you already set the data validation up, you get this little arrow appearing here, but what you're going to do then, so I'm going to create this little list over here, so I've created a list over here, it doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's outside of the, um, the cells that they want, so I always throw mine over to the right, and you might notice as well there's two data validations in here put your data validations in separate columns always <coughs> well over to the right i set up then what's required here in terms of this list i then go into b5 i go into data and data validation i'm not going to press the button here uh, because if i do it'll switch the video off what i'm going to do now is going to move to a print screen so when i press that data validation button down up came this box in here yours will be set and it will say any value start you press this arrow down here and you select the list option then you go and you open up you press in there this will then sort of shrink into a, just a thin box and you go and click and you hit your range pick one uh, cell above there drag it down give yourself a bit of space below and uh, what that will do is it will start then with the january figure uh, at the top rather than well, that's just when you do it in real life. I don't think it really matters here. Uh, but we've got data validation then in. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit of a cold today. Um, so that will get our data validation in. So we go to get to here then, in that cell, data validation here. Up comes this box. It has any value in here. Switch that on to list. Then out there and to get the range. So I hit on that. Out comes the range. Drag it down to there. And then press enter. Comes back to this box. And then press OK. And that now creates this as a data validation for that one. And just, to, I don't know, I put something in there just to show you that it's now data validating. And delete that out. Right, so there's our data validation in for that. Right, format B5 so that it has a thin solid black border. Okay, let's go to our home. There we go. And also as well, so I've clicked in there to give the black border. And I've clicked in there for the grey. All right. Wine column A to ensure that all the text is in there. Okay. Wine column B to make sure that it's its name. Well, that's done that as well. That makes it nice and wide. <coughs> and that's stage one. Okay. Let's go to stage two. Right. In A7, we're going to enter the date. Okay. In B7 client. And C7 hours. Okay, so that's that bit done. 
Um, right, column A, row eight onwards, enter the date so that it's going to be formatted to be dates with two letters for the date, for the day, two for the month, and two for the year. So we're going to be in numbers here. So I like that lot. Right click, format cells. I think I've already set it in here. Up will come a box which will have all of your. Um, all of your options. I'm not sure whether it comes up on the video or not uh, in here, but it, but it comes up when you when you right click and pick the format. So I'm going to come back out of there a second. So you're in your, you've highlighted your cells, right click, and then we pick the format cells from the menu that comes up. Not sure whether it's coming up for you or not. Hit the format cells. Uh, date will come up. There. Actually, I just wonder whether this will. Uh, just show you this on the print screen. So when I when I right clicked up come up come this is this box is the format cells the date is here pick that one and then we're going that's the two letter two uh, D D M M Y Y there if you wanted to have more than we could do in customs if you wanted to if there was something that we didn't have there and then we could just do D D D or whatever it is however you felt like it but, but that's that's what happened with that sheet okay so we formatted those cells now uh, use that format date yep done. Okay. For the hours column, we will restrict entry to only allow whole or half hours. So I've set my list here of the allowable hours that we've had in here. I've then gone into data, data validation again, hit that, which I can't do because it'll switch the video off. And up comes this here. I then picked list here, pressed enter. Uh, then I went into clicked into here, dragged the range into there, pressed enter, and then pressed OK. And then this now switches to the data, <coughs> this is now data validated for hours. OK, apply the same data validation from C9 to 3 to uh, C30 by copying cell C8 to th uh, through C cell C9 to 30. So let's just drag this down to here. OK, now you can see that that is now all formatted for lots. So how I did that is I got that little green square there and then I just dragged it all the way down. Merge cells A1, B1 and C1. There's those cells highlighted. Right click and um, format cells, alignment, merge cells. So try it like that. I don't know if, you, if it hasn't come up on the... On the um, Thing. So what I did was is I went into into that set those highlighted those three cells there, right clicked, I selected the format cells and the options that came up, I switched to alignment here, and then I ticked that merge cells on there, and I pressed OK here. Okay, and you see now that's merged those cells together there. When they previously let's do the undo there, Ooh, and the undo again. So there, they were separate. I'll just redo. Ooh. Ooh. Back to that. There we go. Right, so they're together. Okay. And that's the app. Save, uh, save your cell, uh, uh, save your uh, spreadsheet as T3 exercise one. Okay, right. Stage three apply a border to the top and bottom edges of A7 through to C7. Ooh, somewhere, somewhere along the lines, we've inserted a row uh, or a, a column. Uh, Oh, that's a stage five. Okay, fair enough. Let's not worry about that at the moment. All right, apply a border to the top and bottom edges of A7 through C7. So, when he says the top and bottom edges, which is a bit interesting. Turn into the home. Here's our borders in here. To the top and bottom edges. So, I'm going to just do that there. Let's flip that one up as well. Let's have a print screen there just so you can see it. So um, I was in those, those cells there. There's the bottom one. There's the top one when I pressed that arrow down. And I sort of selected both of those. Okay. Um, what else have we got then in here? Um, apply a border to the left and right edges of C7 to C30. C7 to C30. Okay. So the left and right edges. Left and right. Okay. And apply a border to the lower edge of C through of A30 to well we kind of actually just got to just a, a, a box anyway that would have saved saved us a whole series of time uh, and we're going to also do one through there as well. 
Um, insert a column here. So let's just give you a print screen there as well so you can see what I did. Uh, so I went into here. Uh, I was in that column. I right clicked, up came this menu in here, insert there. So right click there, insert. Okay. Um, okay, set the width of column A to 4. Okay, so that's a little bit of a jiggy. There we go. Right, okay, so what I do is between those two, um, A and B there, dragged it to the left until it said 4. And that is stage 3 done. There, right, stage 4 then. Um, we're now going to um, format it for data. So insert two rows above row seven. So here's row seven. I like row six as well. Right click and insert two rows there. In cell C7, enter total here. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. And see, oh, now that was interesting. So when we entered in those two things it dragged this data validation down so um don't like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to copy the formatting across from uh, those cells there into that which clears that that um formatting that was brought down um, and so let's try and undo that as well what i could do then here so you see what happened there was i i had that one and that one open and what it did was it dragged down the formatting from there into there um could have highlighted those two there and inserted from that point. The only issue I would say there would be that this is now going to change the data validation over here, actually. So technically, hmm, interesting. Needs to be a little bit more thought out out that one of where you'd put the um, put the uh, the data validation list. So what I'm going to do here actually is I'm just going to highlight those, right click and insert that down so it looks like it's I've inserted two rows. Um, <coughs> Right, okay, so let me just explain that again in a little bit more detail because that would be quite interesting actually to just explain. So we were here, and I could right click here after highlighting these two, and I can insert. And you can see how over here now I've got two gaps in between my data validation list here, which wasn't great. So I'm going to undo that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to use insert the rows. I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to highlight this data here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert again. I'm going to shift the cells down. So I'm actually just going to insert two shells, which will make it look like it's supposed to be insert two rows in there. But I didn't do that because it would have ruined the data validation over here. Um, we didn't think that through really. And the question, right, so in cells TC7, insert total. Okay. In cell D7. Enter the formula to add D10 to D32. Okay, so we'll go for an auto sum here. Hit the auto sum. And we'll add up that lot to D32. Why are we going past there? Because. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, that probably then. Let's just we've made a mistake here. So let's clear those four, those borders out there. Drag that down to 32. Put our borders back in. There. Always useful to see how to how to fix things. There. All right. So there's our formula to we've done our auto sum here. Sum d10 to 32. Next chapter is is uh, functions. So that'll be more fun. Uh, and then in D7, we're going to display this to one decimal place with a bold font. So bold is here. And we're going to right click into here and into our format cells in there. And we're going to go number one decimal place. So I'll do that on a print screen. So we right click, we went into format cells, we picked the number and we changed that to one decimal place. Okay, put a double underline border under here, which would be here. Here's our underlining, but we need a double underline, so we're going to drop that arrow down there and we'll put the double underline version. Yeah, okay. Um, 
make rows two, six, and eight. Height six. So rows two. I'm going to put my finger on the control button and see whether I can do all these at the same time. Six and eight. And then I'm going to change those to height eight. Dragging it a touch. Oh, this isn't on. Ooh, let's just try this then. Row height then instead. Right, row height point no. Prefer doing like a sensor feel, but it won't let me do that. I'll have to do it with so you right click in there and then I'll give you a little print screen here. When I right clicked, um there's this one here, row height. So you click on that and put that to eight. Okay, lock all cells with text or values in already. Okay, so we're going to lock them. So we've got, it's actually going to say, um, right, so we've already, and I think, no, to be fair, they're already going to be set to lock. So if we just highlight those ones there, I think that they are already. So we highlight those, and then we go to Format Cells, our print screen here in Protection. Uh, so you see when I put when uh, I uh, did the format cells and I picked the protection option, you see they're already locked. Everything's already set to lock before you start. It's unlocked. You you, you do that. Uh, so let's go to back to here. Unlock cells C3, C4, C5, B10 through to B32. Well, basically, the whole, all of that table there. Right, okay, so we're into that one. We right click, we format cells, we're into the protection one. Let's screen that. I'm going to switch that to not locked. So, let's screen that for you. So, we've highlighted all of those cells, we've gone into protection, we switch this lock tick up, we untick the lock now, so they're unlocked. Okay. Um, now we protect the password with uh, protect the sheet with password whatever. So that's going to be in uh, It's here in review, right? You protect, you pick that protect sheet option um, I think this will switch the video up if I put that on so you're not going to I'm not going to do that But you're going to click that click on that um, And then you're going to put the password in and say it and what will that will do is it will mean that you can't uh, uh, You can only go into those cells all the other ones that are locked you won't be able to get into and sort of protects the integrity of it um hope that worked i'll now give this a, a try that's the end of the exercise well let's just see whether it, it will do or it will switch off if it switches off bye bye anyway hope you enjoyed it if you're not well let's see whether it works oh excellent uh, we can actually do it so what we do in here is we are now into the uh, um uh, to protect the sheet uh, so what we do here is now the user's got options in here we're not going to allow them to select um locked cells so we tick that off there we change the password here to EX3 and we press OK and up it says reconfirm the passwords. So we go EX3 again and we press OK there and we are done. And now you can see I can't, I can only click into these cells and these ones in here. I can't click outside over here. That is um, exercise one. Um, marvellous. Right, OK. Actually, let's do exercise two then while we're, while we're at it. Or we'll see how much we can do of exercise two. There's a bit of conditional formatting going on. Um, actually, well, I'll do that in a separate in a separate, um, a separate video. I um, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'll do the exercise two in a minute. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.